So in 1930, okay, you, everybody knows Hewlett Packard, right? You know what Hewlett and what Packard is? Names, okay, very good. So Bill Hewlett and Dave Packard at this company in 1930, before this whole thing started, right? And they were building instruments and, you know, it was a hit company at that time. So it was one of the big companies. And this, the picture that you're seeing is actually the garage picture. Uh, where the company got started and now so you can you can kind of appreciate it uh, how simple that garage was so basically um, the interesting story is uh, so now we call it hp correct similarly all our microprocessors are made of right it could have been called mn at that time it's like hp right because it's more and noise correct so initially they started with more and noise but what does that sound like? More noise. More noise, right? So uh, they said, nahi, nahi, ye to barabar nahi hai, right? But I'm just extrapolating. It would have been called, you could have been using MN processor, right? So, um, so basically, uh, why I'm telling you about HP is, HP was one of the largest buyers of semiconductors. Okay, so everyone respected HP. And uh, they were purchasing DRAMs. They were trying to build computers. So they, they took the chips from everybody and DRAMs from Intel. Uh, and they're putting it together. And one of the, I don't remember his name, his first name is Robert. So he was a very pragmatic person, right? So he said, I will not buy anything until I verify. So he took chips from Japan and he took from all, all the, like Intel, everyone. And he found that Japanese chips were 10x better. Okay. So, so then they were more reliable. You know, the, 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 the failure rate was like 0.2% with Japanese chips. And then 0.02 percent, um, okay. And then the the American chips was 0.2 percent. So so then uh, you know basically uh, the reason I'm telling you this story is that USA was focused on innovation. Uh, we'll do something new. I mean, the whole, all the innovations happened there. And if you remember, uh, what was Russia doing? Copy. Uh, they were copying. They were taking whatever USA has done, and they just said they're literally copying it. Now copying worked for big things. Right? You're making a big equipment, you can separate things out and you put it together, but didn't work for small things. Because it wasn't just the small thing, but it was the, uh, like, what is the pressure, what is the temperature, how long you have to keep, all those things are difficult to reverse engineer. So they really didn't, I mean, they tried hard, but uh, they didn't make it, right? And what did um, Japan do? License it. Huh? They initial got license. Huh? So pehle license karke le liye, and then uh, they tried to make it better. That's what point I'm trying to make here is, uh, so they, they were focused on implementation. And once they focused on implementation, they just made it like n times better, right? They, every time they refined everything like perfection. So um, what the reason I'm telling you is that they took the chips, which are from US and they built products huh? and they refined the process of taking chips and making products really well, correct? Um, and who was the person? Akio. So um, the important part is uh, Akio Morita. And what was his family business? That you should never forget. Sake, not wine. So what he did was he created something called a brand value. So Japanese people were looked at uh, inferiorly by, by world and United States after the world war and all that stuff happened. Because we do good work, you to copy it. Right, you make multiple, but then suddenly they got better. The stuff that they made was uh, better. They actually started making their own chips, and it was in U.S. interest to give them something. Right? Why? If they don't give them something, what would have happened? They have gone to Russia and they have done something else. Right? They would have gone to other people, and then uh, and here it's at least we can control it type of thing. That was the that was the political uh, background behind. Again, you know, these are my interpretations based on whatever I've read so far. So. There came a killer product. Have you ever seen what I have shown you? I don't think you have seen this. Huh? It's called Walkman. Now you may have seen the younger sister of this, right? The tiny uh, MP3 Walkmans or something. But this was a big, uh, big. Piece. I mean, it wasn't as big as you are seeing it here. It could, uh, you know. Uh, I mean, this was like for me. It was the most desired product when I was in school, right? And a friend of mine, my roommate had exactly same Walkman and I was so jealous that I'll bring one for you next time. You know, I forgot. Uh, I, I still have a product. And it was fabulous because uh, this 
product sony walkman that was one of the revolutionary product killer product um, at that time it created a revolution in the music before you had to have these big tapes and the, i don't know if you have if you seen those fbi movies and there is a circle rotating type of business right and those were the tape recorders i i also have one of those but i think that's gone now because it used to occupy like a whole bunch of space huh? and now suddenly this became tiny you could hold in hand and you could put a cassette tape which was also tiny and you had music for one and a half hour 90 minute and you were in heaven right so you could record whatever you wanted you could record people's voices and things like that so i um, you know all of us even our hostel used to have one big player and we would be all listening to it type of thing right so this was a revolution in music uh, in during my time and you know 400 million were sold at that time you know the world population was quite small at that time all chips were made in japan earlier they were borrowing chips from us and making things they were making calculators if you remember the the nec toshiba they were making calculators idhar kya ho raha hai abhi aapka chip bust ho gaya abhi hama bara chip bana raha so they made their own chips and then they made this product all chips made in japan and basically akio morita single handedly changed the perception of japan this is such a big thing right um, and the reason i am telling you this story so passionately is we have an opportunity we have an opportunity to change our perception in the world because they were at the same location where we are today right so think about that and think about what we can do now we are in trouble we don't have our own chip plan correct all of you know right and here is a chance for us to do something better than the world and it's coming it will happen that's the reason i'm doing precisely this for you right um, so made in japan used to be you know bad thing at that time people didn't like made in japan but he single handedly changed this perception of cheap product huh, to high quality now again you know i'm i want you to remember the word cheap because we use it so frivolously hmm? the word jugad we use it so frivolously and that's what is actually bad for us because our mindset becomes cheap and jugad we need to change that and if if there is something that you could take from today's lecture is remember that okay don't be cheap and jugad wala wala we have to do something better than everyone else okay so this product i'll show you i mean it's phenomenal still works right i mean it's after so many years so japan basically started getting off ahead of us that's what was going on no defense spending taranhari united states right because that was the deal unhone atom bomb dal diya bola ki ha we aapko hum sambhalenge ha huh? so they were they were saying ki you cannot have your own because they know if they if they if japanese people will have some uh, you know their own uh, military and things like that things will be hell for rest of the world right because they could go to anybody else so they said nahi nahi aap apna apna khali kaam karo defense hum dekh lenge correct and the you, you, i mean the lots of politics that happened which i cannot get through but that was one of the main things which they had an advantage japan had an advantage and then interest rates I, i i don't think you will have an appreciation for interest rate but you, to start a company you need money and for that money you have to pay interest so if the interest rates are high then the cost of the capital is very high and so so as a result of which uh, basically uh, if your uh, interest rates are uh, you know low then they could pump money into capital investment that's exactly what they did huh? and then they were very nationalistic all of us are nationalistic right so but then we have this piece we have being nationalistic piece is there huh? that's the point i'm trying to make you make it to you and they basically said everything thoda dard hoga to bhi chalega lekin hum log invest japan mein hi karenge huh? so we will buy everything from japanese manufacturer we will not take any which is where we are going right now make in india made in india we are doing we are going in that direction so dram which was invented in united states by intel uh, i mean not you know uh, invented uh, bob denner right ibm he invented the dram he started with the dram and and intel kind of identified that as a as a key product hum log isme kaam kar rahe hain they had 100% market share and it went to 2% rest all was taken by japan it was such a landslide a uh, lopsided uh, thing so as a result of which there was a lot of politics which we will not get into basically us and japan there was a tug of war um, and you know the people in us started crying this is nahi 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 then they, there was a schizophrenic relationship between between united states companies and the the government 
सो दे डोंट वॉन्ट गवर्नमेंट एनी वेयर क्लोज टू दैम हम लोग को हमारा इन्वेंशन करने दो बट वेन एवर इट हर्ट्स लाइक यू नो नेबर के किड्स दे आर नोइंग यू राइट देन यू गो टू योर मॉम अदरवाइज यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी विथ योर मॉम राइट सो सेम थिंग हैपन विद देम दे वर कंप्लेनिंग टू द यूनाइटेड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट यू हैव टू गेट इन्वॉल्व हमारा फट रहा है इधर सारा डीरा इन लोगों ने भगा लग गया हमने बनाया हमको पैसा नहीं मिल रहा है ऐसे मतलब देर आर ऑल दिस स्टफ आई एम जस्ट कैन हाईली सिंप्लीफाइंग एंड जनरलाइजिंग सो दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट वॉज गोइंग ऑन सो देन द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट हैपन दैट हिट लाइक अ रॉक राइट इज लिथोग्राफी बिकॉज चिप बनाना है तो यू आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन हाउ फाइनली यू कैन डिफाइन योर ट्रांसिस्टर okay so there was a company in us called gca that company was really good at building the equipment building the lithography equipment and this was a military type of company they were making lenses and then they uh, they said they said like ha we military ke liye enough ho gaya paisa nahi mil raha so let's make it for integrated circuit so they started making all these uh, equipment and they were super good and then the biggest invention that came do you remember i showed you that flipped microscope business you know how that uh, that was like a i forgot the name norni right uska invention tha so similarly here um, the invention was stepper so first you had to expose each piece now there was a stepper so the stepper meaning i can do multiple things on the same wafer type of thing so that was the uh, that was a major innovation by gca and that became went everywhere after certain time ना ये फाइट चालू हो गया यूएस एंड जापान में उन्होंने बोला हम लोग आपको जीसीए का माल देंगे नहीं तो जापान ने बोला ठीक है मत दो हम लोग बनाते हैं एंड देन सडनली नाइकॉन कैनन एसएमएल ऑल दीज पीपल बिकॉज किसी का आप गला दबाओगे तो वो फाइट तो मारेगा राइट right? एग्जैक्टली exactly वैसे हुआ उन्होंने खुद का बनाना चालू कर दिया सो नाइकॉन जापान हाउस होल्ड नेम्स इवन नाउ दे स्टार्टेड मेकिंग रियली हाई क्वालिटी लेंसेस ओके एंड देन ए एस इज is also in the it's from europe and they started doing their own work and you know they eventually gcm gca died literally died uh, the united states uh, companies everyone poured money like hell to keep it alive uh, but there was a major issue with their uh, their management um, and they were guzzling like uh, guzzling money like anything without high quality product innovation was there but implementation and that perfection was not there so gca died and then what happened as soon as gca died the ball game completely changed now you have to depend on outside source to build all the for lithography equipment right so japan has 70% market share at that time of making the lithography equipment so suddenly do you see the transformation that happened japan was in a state where they were just waiting from japan usa de do hame kuch to karne ke liye ha from that they went into the driver seat so they are making all the equipment now the united states has to depend on the japan so it's a interesting what happened in the history can tell us a lot about what is going to happen in the future right so uh, so basically semiconductors uh, jerry sanders uh, he is one name you should know very flamboyant personality he started company called amd so he was one of the one of the you know uh, he started amd was a founder but before that again the root is which company fair child he was at fair child gordon moore then um uh, noise andy gro and jerry sanders all left about the same time uh, fair child a uh, fair child then kind of you know went, went through its own um own heartaches uh, but amd you still know right so um, which is giving mn or intel run for its money right now jerry sanders used to say that you know semiconductor is like crude oil now and this is what i am saying huh? but japan was like a middle east now suddenly right everybody was dependent on middle east uh, is for oil right so then uh, at that time japan was looking like a middle east so they had cornered everything that's all the story i have today okay thank you i'll see you next time